Well, unfortunately, this storm has taken a deadly toll in parts of the Twin Cities. We're learning that one death has been confirmed from a car crash that was in Minnesota and in Minneapolis. At least 175 crashes have been reported from last night and then through this morning. We want to bring in Fox 9 Minneapolis, Bill Keller. And Bill, what are you guys seeing outside right now? And what, are, what more are we learning on some of these crashes and incidents around the Twin Cities? Yeah, well, certainly you can forget what the calendar says. It looks and feels more like January than it does March. It's been a real upside down uh, weather here for the past five months, really. Uh, the overnight slow, though, making for a very slow drive to work here around the Twin Cities. Consider this. We've got just over 14 inches all winter. Our first snowfall came at Halloween. We had our most recent basically at uh, Valentine's Day. And now, even though it is technically still spring, we could double that 14 inch total by the time this is all over next week. Officially about four inches across the Twin Cities overnight up to eight inches. You go just a little to the northwest towards St. Cloud. The blanket of snow might be disheartening for a lot of folks who are just ready for spring. Uh, a false spring number two, maybe more like it. But uh, some of the folks we talked with this morning say they are taking it like true Minnesotans. Take a listen. I'm running and I love it. Why? Beautiful weather. It's refreshing. I love the snow. It's peaceful. It's just a great run. It's a good day. It's beautiful. It's not too cold. It's not too windy. It's beautiful sun. There's hardly anybody out. It's great. I'm really bummed. I haven't been out skiing or sledding much at all. Um, I'm, I'm, I normally dip in the lake and I, it just hasn't been as fun without the ice, but I'm embracing the snow today. <laughs> Did you hear that? Embracing the snow. Mm -hmm. It's not the same going in the lake without the ice. Okay, <laughs> well, the overnight snowfall it clearly didn't, didn't stop these diehards from getting out and doing their morning thing. That's the minute. You know, I saw the most Minnesotan thing a couple of weeks ago. We were up around the north shore of uh, Lake Superior. It was still a little cool up there. I saw somebody wearing big sorrel boots and shorts. Come on. Again, about the most Minnesotan <laughs> thing you're going to see out there. Bill, I love I those love boots, that. though. That, that, I was going to say, that is the look that you got to go for. Yeah. That's for sure. I know that you guys are running about a 30 inch snow deficit up there in the Twin Cities, so we're hoping that this will put a little bit of a dent in that. Fox 9, Bill's Keller, uh, Bill Keller, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it.